Hello, my name is Renee Billups, and I welcome you to My Iron Kitchen, where big things are always happening. I am passionate about food of all cultures, but anything I prepare, it has to be served up with a Caribbean flair because I am an island girl. I am what you would call a flexitarian. I eat meat every once in a blue moon, but I have friends and family who are carnivores, and I have friends and family who are strict vegans. So what I had to do was learn how to prepare foods that will satisfy all taste buds. I believe that food should be balanced and no matter what you're serving, everyone should be enjoying it. So I'm going to show you one of my party quick fixes. And that's my pumpkin shrimp chowder. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to please the vegetarians too. What I have here is some diced potatoes, fresh diced pumpkin, celery, onions, carrots, and a medley of roasted corn, peppers, onions, and a little bit of black beans to give it some color. So I'm going to dump this all into the pot at one time. This is going to be the one for the vegetarians. So I'm going to cut my fire down and I'm going to add some mushrooms. So now we're going to show some love to our seafood lovers. So I have here uh, three tablespoons of flour and some veggie base. We're going to add it to it along with the base. For the vegetarian side, I'm using almond milk, and for the meat lovers, I'm using regular milk, so four cups of milk. Now to the mixture, what we're gonna add is a half a teaspoon each of black pepper, ground mustard, thyme leaves, and some kale salt. We're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and that's gonna really punch it up a bit. This is some pumpkin that I boiled until it was very soft, and then I blended it up and made it nice and creamy. Divide this in half between us in both hands. What's this, you ask? A biscuit. All I did was roll it out with a rolling pin, stuff it down in a muffin tin, baked it as the directions, and we got a little cup. So this is how I like to serve it up. Look at how beautiful that chowder looks. I put a little bit on the bottom. I'm gonna stick it right in the middle. I'm gonna pour a little bit in the top there. Let it ooze over a little bit, ain't nothing wrong with that. A delicious chowder. We have our bread, we have our chowder. All you need is a nice healthy salad and that supper, smaller portions, appetizer, whatever you wanna call it. So that's me. I love to use unconventional, inexpensive, but fresh ingredients to wow your taste buds. So let me try one. Let's see, any, mini money more. Food Network, you need to taste this. Now, come on. Sorry for talking with food in my mouth, but you know you're looking at a star.